Floyd County community is in mourning tonight after near 70 mile per hour winds blew a roof off a building, killing one man. Prestonsburg police tell us that man is 62 year old Michael Coleman of Pikeville. He and a woman were driving down Court Street in Prestonsburg when storms ripped through town. Connor McHugh has tonight's LEX 18 Big Story. Well, it got pitch black dark and then all of a sudden it just came crazy. In the blink of an eye. Honestly, I thought for a second, is this a tornado? Downtown Prestonsburg changed forever Wednesday. It ripped off clean and just come down and just laid right on top of the vehicles. And the same could be said of the people who witnessed this afternoon's unforgiving storms. We managed to get the windows broke. Uh, we checked on the individual. Um, he was obviously deceased. At that point, we uh, secured the scene. There were people sobbing, crying, didn't even know the name, didn't know the name of the person yet. The National Weather Service says a downburst is to blame for this deadly situation on Court Street, removing the roof of the old hawk shop, pinning four cars, one driving in the wrong place at the wrong time. The man's fiance uh, crawled, crawled herself out of the truck and we brought her into the office. And Sarah Langheiden can't imagine a scene more heartbreaking than this afternoon's. She's obviously devastated. Um, I think she said they were getting married this weekend, so it was really just so horrible. According to city officials, no one else was injured or killed. Hundreds did lose power and down trees blocked several roads. It was quick in and out, storm was, but it did a lot of damage while it was in here. For now, Court Street will remain closed, a necessity for everyone's safety, but reminder of a day Prestonsburg will not soon forget. Honestly, it seems like a nightmare, to be honest. Uh, just a bad nightmare. Kind of want to wake up for him. In Floyd County, Connor McHugh, LEX 18 News. The mayor tells LEX 18 engineers will assess the brick facade of the building tomorrow before deciding what to do next. Until then, that part of downtown will remain closed off.